Hi everybody, thank you for tuning into another video on TK's Tech Corner. So I've just posted the last video on the PSVR 2, the unboxing, and I compared it quickly to the MetaQuest 2 headset. Um, I haven't plugged it in yet, I thought I'd start uh, capturing this so that I can uh, show you the experience of setting it up. I don't know what to expect, plugging it into the PlayStation for the first time, um, and then hopefully seeing if I can actually uh, replicate the display uh, so that I can capture it whilst I'm actually seeing stuff in the VR headset um, and then hopefully you'll be able to see what I'm seeing um, for the most part of it at least um, and then um, show you how it's all set up so I'm going to go ahead and plug the USB-C cable in now I have no idea what's going to happen at all if something's going to pop up or not I don't know um, right so I have plugged it in and then the first thing I'm, I've noticed is I know you can't see this is on the front of the device a red light has come on um, just above the power button and I'm going to go and press the power button now to see what happens. First thing that happens when I turn the headset on uh, is that the headset rumbled and I'm going to go ahead and put it on my head quickly just to see what is going on there. So uh, it's asking me to update clearly here. Um, I've just increased the size of the headset first because I literally can't get it on my head um, so at the moment in the screen here is being remove your VR headset and follow the instructions on the TV screen so I'm going to remove the VR headset and I'm going to go ahead and click update now so it's going to run through an update process um, if that's already done that was very very quick you can see here now we're seeing the VR headset is connected set up your VR2 headset Get ready for an immersive gaming experience with PlayStation VR 2. To get started, set up your VR 2 controller, sense controllers, adjust eye tracking. So this thing has eye tracking as well and create a play area. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and hit get started. Uh, I haven't touched the controllers yet. I have connected the stereo headphones. Um, so that is already done. And I did do uh, a demo of how to connect these on the unboxing video. Right, so uh, now it's going to ask me to pair the controller. Now, I'm going to put the headset down for a second. Thankfully, it's got a long cable. It looks like a three or three odd meter cable. Uh, I'm going to have to get another USB cable out to do this. So let's just quickly grab a USB-C cable from somewhere. Um, and actually, I'm going to grab the one in the box because it's going to save me faffing and looking for another cable that I'm probably never going to find. So let's just go ahead and use the one that they have provided. Uh, now they've only given one controller, uh, one USB cable, but there's two controllers. I mean, really, the amount of you're paying for this thing, they could have just given two cables, really. It wouldn't have hurt them that much to do so. Sony, if you're watching this video, I've had my first complaint without even using it. Right, so one by one I think it's the right one and this PlayStation logo is actually a button right it's paired I'm assuming it's gonna ask me to do the next one so let's take the cable out get the next one on get this one paired as well right so this is now paired okay There we go. Now, oh, okay, I've got to press that button as well. The PlayStation logo button is very, very flat and it doesn't give you much sensation on these controllers. It's completely flat. Must be so for a reason. I wonder if they act as some sort of like a touchpad as well. Who knows? Right, unplug the cables from the VR2 controllers, put them down within easy reach. So I'll just throw them here somewhere in front of me. Um, and then when you're ready, press the Okay, so that's what that little function button is uh, on the VR headset to go to the next step. So I'm going to do this. I'm not going to put it on my head yet. It doesn't tell me to. So I'll just press the function button. Right. Before use. Okay, yeah, great. So this is like an OK button. It's like a silly one. Enjoy a safe VR experience. Set up your room properly. Clear some space. So there's nothing about that is definitely not going to be possible because I'm in a tiny little box room here. I'll probably be breaking loads of stuff once I test this out. Next, turn on the lights in your room so that your VR headset can track your surroundings. This is important because when you want to track and use the, 
the tracking cameras and also allow it to track properly um, you want bright light so that's good advice there check the brightness of your room using the camera on the VR headset hold the VR headset at face level and then press the function button to start checking okay so I'm going to do that now um, so it's not asking me to put it on it's just asking me to hold it in front of me um, and then uh, to press that button so it's checking the light levels of the room and my lights are very bright at the moment so hopefully no problem follow the on-screen guide on how to put your VR headset on okay so it's telling us now how we should put it on our heads okay so right that button here at the top is to extend the scope right I didn't know that when I was recording the video you can hit done so this is to move it forward and backwards from your head right I definitely managed to figure out the strap bit the headband I definitely did figure that part out okay I'm done with that as well uh, put on your VR headset and lower the headband now is it going to carry on on screen is the question yes it does okay um, it tells me to turn the dial to tighten this thing up oh wow it tightens quite quickly interesting right okay put the push the scope in so I push it in right okay now that's getting quite interesting now and lower the headband right okay turn to tighten the dial right okay I think we're there problem is I can't see what's on the screen now put on your stereo headphones now for a second I'm just gonna actually not put my headphones on and peek out what's going on so you can see what I can see at the moment done hopefully this carries on yeah you can see what I can see I think for the most part of it anyway so eye tracking you can't see the eye tracking bit can you so to make sure you can see the screen clearly adjust the lens distance so that okay right so I've got to do the focus now right okay interesting the interesting thing is, is for me it's not clear I'm trying to adjust right okay that looks about clear yeah okay cool we're good with that okay I think I'm done now I can see and you can see my monitor as well probably because using the camera so hold your peers it's, okay it's located the controller you can see there's a lot of mess in my room um, no problem there that's okay you can see that all right it's located the controllers I've got them on I'm not gonna faff with the grips at the moment how cool does that look okay use your VR sense controllers move okay so let's say next Next, you can see my crazy monitor set up here at the moment. Okay. whether or not you can see this part is interesting so I've got a follow red dot okay without moving my head this can be interesting some sort of eye calibration okay I'm assuming all of this has been caught on video. And so when I'm blim blinking and winking, it's winking. 
I see me winking there. That's me looking at all the dots. Looks good. Okay, well, this is going to be interesting because you can just probably say there's no space in my room. interesting because you see all my mess There's my recording corner there loads of boxes of all the stuff I unbox right, okay. Stay seated. I'm just going to stay seated. Okay. Temporary area is set. When you're using a temporary play area, you won't be able to get up and move around. That's okay. We're okay with that. And apparently, we're all set. I have no idea what I'm going to play because I've no games installed. That oh, unless Grand Prismo 7 supports, so I've got to find a disc. So hopefully, we're just going to see a quick demo. And you're going to see it too. So the interesting thing is you're seeing what I'm seeing. I'm trying to peek out the corner of my VR headset here. Now, okay, now I'm seeing the menu, the PlayStation menu. It's just VR saying that anytime um, with a PlayStation VR. Okay. Right, so I'm going to try and view the games that support the VR experience, but unfortunately, my screen is now no longer being recorded, so um, that's a bit annoying because it would have been nice to somehow um, show you how this is working. There's a free game that I'm going to download a demo of. Hopefully, it's a quick one. It looks like a small game. 852 meg should download fairly quickly, um, and then. I want to know how I can pass this through to so there should be an option to pass this through really um, I'm going to select play though I don't think you're going to see the game no it's not capturing ah okay it is I think it is it's capturing the game yes it is cool so you can we see, made it to you can see what I'm seeing you're late or you so would be if we had schedules. Uh, class begins when so all this is that style of moving desks. where you select where you want to move to. I wonder if it's got any other movement options. Nice and clear. The OLED display is very, very nice indeed. Um, I am going to obviously put on another video with my hands. Quite nice. So. As I'm touching the buttons or the controllers or moving my thumbs around, you can see the movement on them there as well. That's me pressing the analog sticks here. And as I'm pressing them slowly, you can see my fingers moving. Um, and also when I'm pressing the triggers that are by my other fingers, you can see they're moving. So I'm getting sort of uh, full hand movement there, which is very, very nice. The tracking of my hand is very smooth. Um, where shall we go? Is this? No idea what I'm doing here. Let's see the shadow of my hand, look. Careful because I'm spinning around on my chair, but eventually Dr. Roskabee, the table will Is it class time? Yes, Hawk. However, important to allow exploration for new species. Prismy, stand at desk when ready. Oh, can we play Planetfall while we wait? No. 
Today? Plain, but I think I'm Seems unlikely. I haven't broken into the room yet. All Currently exploring alchemizer and fluid creation. Today's lesson is babanas. But ba babanas, ominous. Students get safety gear. Death by blackboard. Can't we perish with dignity? Certainly. Initiating self-destruct sequence. What? Ah. No. Doctor Ross. Uh -huh. Can I be excused? Something Captain Shipwreck. Fine. Remember. Unnecessary play. Prisney, time to adapt. That's quite cool. <laughs> Form under pressure. OM Galaxies, you're the coolest kid in school! <laughs> Please direct ice at malfunction. The field of view circuit. is very nice. Um, cool it definitely appears blackboard coolant requires this, refill. Um, the quest Frisbee, 2, which is a little bit narrower, it's about, as I said, about 89, I think 89 degrees. This is working at about 110 degrees, and you can notice a difference. Use fluid power to refill coolant container. to refill coolant container. Uh -huh. Maybe this is in the coolant container. So where is the coolant container? You always make such a splash! Okay. Well, anyway, there we go. Um, just to give you an idea of what's going on. PSVR 2, the unit rolls back to the club. Move away, move away, move away. In your eyes, in your eyes. Just to give you an idea of what's going on. Uh, that's the initial setup. I'm going to install Horizon uh, and then give it a go. I'll record another Use video. Fluid power to post up a video of Horizon. Connect. So, on that note, I'm going to take my headset off. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please leave a thumbs up. Um, let me know what you think. Initial thoughts, PSPR2. I will be recording and posting more videos as I test this product out. Thanks for watching. Take care and all the best. <laughs>